Bingo had successfully made a number of significant apprehensions helping keep our city safe. A police dog named Bingo shot dead Tuesday night as police tried to capture a murder suspect here in Etobicoke. He was with his handler, Sergeant Brandon Smith. Uh, Sergeant Smith and, and, um, and his dog Bingo had been operationally on the road for uh, just over half a year after completing a very extensive training program together. Police were trying to arrest a murder suspect in one of these nearby apartment buildings. They say shots were fired at them. That individual, according to preliminary information, shot at officers. Officers did not uh, shoot back. Neighbors heard those shots at a distance. Yes, my husband tell me, oh, that's not a fireworks, it's a gunshot. Hearing those gunshots like, makes you very anxious about it and think, yes, like, is the arrest safe? The suspect ran to the backyard of a nearby home. This woman lives at the house. Opened the curtain to about 10 to 20 police cars all lined up right in front of the house. And then the man fled and ended up being located by the police dog and other officers uh, in the backyard of the residence here at Kingsview Boulevard. There was an exchange of gunfire between the man and police. The 44-year-old male suspect was shot and survived. Heard a few gunshots and then they ended up taking out the guy on like a stretcher. But Bingo was dead. Tragic loss to the community, to the handler especially, and to the police service. Jim Stevenson was a dog handler and trainer for 19 years with Durham Regional Police. Dogs go home with the handlers. They become part of the family. You, you literally take your job home with you and you work with one dog and the dog isn't handled by anybody else um, and that increases the bond as well. After the dog's death, Toronto police held a procession and gathered outside a veterinary clinic where the dog's body was carried inside.